Hello, this is the FabFlix demo for Project 4 CS122B by Daniel Benoit and Kenny Fu. This is Daniel Benoit speaking. This is our re-recording because it seems our first recording had some issues and it was like an encoding overloaded error. In any case, we're going to be doing a re-record. Um, but yeah, so I've already SSH'd onto the instance. I'm just going to show if there's nothing in the home directory. Um, next, I'm going to clone our repository. So I'm just going to run git clone. I'm going to clone our repository into our home. Um, we can cd into there. And I'll just run ls, and then I can also run a git log. And the git log will show our last commits. You can see even then the last commits were before the deadline. Um, then, let's see. Next, what I want to do is I will um, show the... Or I will run... Uh, I will cd into our application directory. So I'll just cd into application. Or sorry, cd main. My bad. And this is where our palm.xml will be. Or actually, that's inside cd application. And then this is where our palm.xml is. And here I can run mvn clean package. Clean package. So I'll let that run. And then I can just run an ls to show uh actually it should be slash uh to show that there's no um nothing in the web apps directory i can just run this there we go nothing there next i will um copy the uh thing into or i'll copy the target folder into the web apps directory and this i can just edit a little bit should be good, just like that. And then I'll show the web apps directory one more time. You can see it's there now. Um, and also I have Tomcat open over here. So if I refresh now, you should see that it shows up in Tomcat. Um, yeah, and then I can, I guess, go to the actual web website. First, we have a custom domain, fabflix.xyz. I've zoomed in a little bit. But here I will log in. I'll also open up the dev tools real quick to show the network tab. Let's refresh one more time. There we go. I'll do a at email.com. A2, I'm not a robot. Log in. Right, and for now I'm gonna demonstrate the auto the autocomplete. So here I'll type in L O. You'll see that nothing shows up because it's only two letters. I'll hit enter and it'll do a search by L O. Right? Um, let's see. Next, I will try entering uh, S space LOV. You can see we have our uh, text autocomplete. I will use the up and down arrow keys to navigate to third suggestion. One, two, three. And I will hit enter. And we're taken to the corresponding single movie page right here. Um, next, I will delete that. And I will quickly enter love. We'll see that the actual queries only get made near the end. Um, then I will delete E and then re-enter E, right? Um, and then, let's see. Oh, actually before that, sorry, I have to type in S space L-O-V and then I'll use my mouse to click the last select selection. And there we go, now we're taking to endless love and then I'll do the love thing. Love, delete the E add the E, right? I can just search that as well, right? Pretty easy. Next, I will show uh, Android running in the local emulator. Um, for that, I'm just gonna go over to this desktop. I'll actually bring over this real quick. So I have the instructions. Okay, so here I have Android Studio. It's running an emulator. You'll see that it's not actually connected. Our thing uses React Native, so there's a few extra steps. We have to run both um, NPX React Native Start from the Fabflix Android directory. This will start Metro, which is like our development server. We'll also run NPX React Native Run Android. This sort of builds the Android version of the React app. And our app connects to the um, online version of Fabflix, so the production version. That's at fabflix.xyz. And you can see it's reloading right now. Um, also do one more thing here. I'll run git uh, status 
and git log. You can see it's all like the same version. <clears throat> Next, oh, sorry, excuse the timer. Next, I will, um, uh, what's it called? I will go to the login page by first I'll entering, I'll enter in a at email.com as a username and I'll enter a wrong password. I'll hit login. You'll see that we get wrong email slash password. If I go back and I fix the password to be A2, I hit login. You'll see that we get our uh, main page right here. In the main page, I'll type in S space uh, LOV, S space LOV, and I'll click search, right? And you'll see we get a movie list page, right, with 20 results. Um, yeah, and I guess that is it. All right, so again, this is our re-recording. Hopefully everything is here that needs to be, and hopefully this hasn't messed up. But uh, yeah.